200 билетов. Надо если все стреляет. Ну, он этот на огороде копался. Biden may withdraw from U.S. presidential election. This summer, Joe Biden may refuse to participate in the presidential election and propose the candidacy of Michelle Obama, the wife of former U.S. President Barack Obama. This is reported by the German edition of Der Spiegel. The Democratic Party of the U.S. does not exclude that Biden may announce such a decision by August 2024 at the party convention in Chicago. Der Spiegel noted that Democrats even included Michelle Obama in their public opinion polls regarding potential candidates. Many Americans dream of a woman president, Der Spiegel writes. According to journalists, the reason is Biden's advanced age. Two-thirds of Americans consider him too old to lead the country for another four years. At the same time, many Americans are not very eager for Donald Trump to win the election, whose age is not much younger than the current head of state. Also playing a role is the large number of cases currently being considered in courts against the politician. Biden, who will turn 82 years old just weeks after Election Day, November the 5th, is already the oldest president in U.S. history. Trump is 77. Privately, Democratic operatives close to the campaign worry constantly about Biden's health and voters' dim perceptions of it. In recent weeks, aides have begun walking at Biden's side as he strolls to and from Marie Green won the presidential helicopter on the White House South Lawn in an apparent effort to help mask the president's stiff gait. Still, neither party is making serious contingency plans. Whether voters want to believe it or not, the general election matchup is all but set. The presidential election in the US is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. The favorites in this year's race from the Democrats are the incumbent President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. Recently, the auditor of the Trump media company was accused of fraud and deceiving clients through violations of current legislation. Russia threatens Western leaders they won't be able to hide on Capitol Hill or in the Elysee Palace. The deployment of Western troops to Ukraine would be akin to these countries declaring war on Russia and lead to a catastrophe on a global scale, Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev said. Sending their troops to the territory of former Ukraine will mean their direct involvement in the war. We will have to respond to this and, alas, not on the territory of former Ukraine, he wrote on his Telegram channel. He added that in this case, Western leaders won't be able to hide on Capitol Hill or in the Elysee Palace or on 10 Downing Street. A global catastrophe will ensue, Medvedev concluded. According to him, the cause of the discussion on dispatching Western troops to Ukraine, launched by French President Emmanuel Macron, is a shameless calculation for political bonus points. Some kind of a total degradation of the ruling class in the West is underway. Medvedev clarified and reiterated that the extent of the catastrophic nature of such a clash was something US President John Kennedy and Russian leader Nikita Khrushchev could grasp over 60 years ago. Yet, current immature imbeciles who got to power in the West keep failing to recognize this, he added. Following these threats, it is noteworthy that Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered tactical nuclear weapons drills in response to what the Defense Ministry has described as provocative statements and threats from the West. Moscow will carry out the drills in the near future to increase the readiness of non-strategic nuclear forces to perform combat missions, the Defense Ministry said in a statement, noting that they will be held with Russian formations from the Russian Southern Military District and Russian Navy forces. During the exercise, a set of measures will be carried out to practice the issues of preparation and use of non-strategic nuclear weapons, the Defense Ministry said. 
The exercises are aimed at maintaining the readiness of personnel and equipment of units for the combat use of non-strategic nuclear weapons and ensuring the nation's territorial integrity and sovereignty in response to provocation statements and threats by individual Western officials against the Russian Federation, the ministry added.